Hey yo, you clicked on this video because your FPS in CS2 sucks and you're in the right place. But make sure you watch this full video, you dirty piece of shit, or you'll miss the most important steps which I'll be showing you in this video. So let's get into da video. Firstly, go to start and type in check for updates. Make sure you're updated. This is the most important thing. So we go to the next step. Now for the next step, open up Steam, click on CS2, right click, click on properties. And then once you're over here, make sure you paste the launch options, which I've given it in the description, close it and let's go to the next step. Now for the next step, open up Steam, click on Steam, click on settings. And once you're here, click on interface and then make sure you disable all these settings, click on library and then make sure you copy all my settings, click on in game and then make sure you disable these four settings and then disable these three settings over here. Once you're done with this, you can close this and then restart your Steam. And then once you're done with that, make sure you open up your notepad and then paste the Steam commands, which I've given it in the description. Click on file, click on save as, and then make sure you save it as steam.bat in your Steam folder. Click on save. The next thing you wanna do, right click your CSGO, click on browse local files. And then once you're here, click on Steam and then scroll down till you find steam.bat. Right click, send to desktop. And then once you're here, rename this as Steam, right click, click on properties and then click on change icon and then click on browse, go to your Steam, scroll down till you find steam.exe, click on open, click on OK, click on apply, click on OK. There you go. That's it. You can just open up Steam using this and let's go to the next step. Now for the next step, open up your start and type in background apps and then make sure you set your background apps to off go to general and make sure you copy all my settings go to speech make sure it is set to off inking and typing personalization set this to off notifications change this setting to off and now for the next step you want to go to start and then type in graphic settings open it up once you're over here click on browse open your steam folder and then scroll down till you find steam apps common counter strike game bin win64 and then once you're over here you can see cs2.exe click on add and then once it's added click on options and make sure you set it to high performance and click on save and then type in game mode and then once you're over here make sure game mode is set on and then xbox game bar should be disabled and yeah now for the next step you want to open up steam right click your cs2 click on manage click on browse local files and then once you're over here click on game bin win64 and then you can see cs2.exe right click click on properties and then once you're over here click on compatibility and then just click on disable full screen optimizations click on change high dpi settings and make sure you check this click on ok click on apply click on ok and you can close it and let's go to the next step now for the next step you want to open up steam right click your cs2 click on manage click on browse local files and then once you're over here make sure you click on game csgo cfg and once you're over here paste the two auto exec files which i've given it in the description just paste them close it and let's go to the next step now for the next step you want to open up your csgo and then go to your settings go to the video settings and then make sure aspect ratio is 4 to 3 resolution i use 800 into 600 for maximum fps go to the advanced video section and make sure you copy all my settings nvidia reflex low latency can be set to enable plus boost or enabled but i like it disabled but make sure you copy all my other settings if you want maximum fps now for the next step open up your csgo and then go to your game settings once you're over here make sure you enable the developer console and then just click on yes open your console and then type in these commands which i've given it in the description the first First one, the second one, the third one. Once you're done with that, let's go to the next step. Now for the next step, open up your web browser and then type in driver booster and click on the first one which will take you to this page and make sure you download and install the software. Once you're done doing that, open up the application and then click on scan. So once the scanning is over, click on update now, which basically just updates all your outdated drivers and other stuff in your PC. So just click on update. Once you're done with that, just close it. For the next step, you wanna right click start, click on Windows PowerShell Admin. Once you're here, paste the command, which I've given in the description. And then once you click on enter, you can see ultimate performance power plan has been created. You want to go to start, type in edit power plan. Once you open it up, click on power options. You can see ultimate performance. Click on that. Yeah, that's it. The next thing you want to do is open up your web browser and then type in power control and then click on the first one, which will take you to this website. If you're on a 64 bit, click on this. If you're on a 32 bit, click on this, download it, install it, type in power control. Once it's open, you set this to ultimate performance, which we enabled earlier. So just click on apply, click on okay. It'll be running in the background. So you don't have 
to worry about opening it every time so yeah now for the next step make sure you download the cs2 fps pack 2023 which i've given it in the description open it up click on optimizations click on reg files and then make sure you enable all these click on the first one click on run click on yes click on okay do that for all these and then you can go back click on programs click on mod tool v2 and then run this exe as an administrator once the application opens up find your graphics card minus nvidia geforce mx 110 so i'm just going to click on that and set that on high performance i also have intel uhd graphics 620 i'm going to set that on high performance as well click on apply and yeah you can close it go back click on important tweaks click on ram optimization and then once this opens up find your ram i have 8 gb ram so i'm just going to click on this click on run click on yes click on okay and then go back click on cpu tweaks and then make sure you enable all these click on the first one click on run click on yes click on okay and do that for these two as well go back and you can just close it and let's go to the next step now the last step is the most important step which will give you really good fps and fix all your fps drops and that is to subscribe to my channel yes because i'll be posting more of these videos so i hope you guys no shut up i know you guys enjoyed this video adios mis amigos hola mes ami i'm going to end the video here piss off